This screencast is to um, show how you can record sounds to be used in action settings within your PowerPoint. And as I discussed in class, that feature that used to be integrated into PowerPoint has since been removed, at least on the version we're using in the Mac Lab PowerPoint 2011 for Mac. So this is a workaround if you want to embed sounds within action buttons. So here I have a slide. <clears throat> And my only other option here is if I want my students to be able to hear these three words, I can record my voice as I did here using record audio. So I've got one sound here, feel, another sound here, glee, and a third sound here, eel. And that will work just fine in the presentation. But sometimes it can be helpful to have the sound embedded in a button itself. And remember, remember, the button does not have to be the traditional action button and that anything can be given action settings. And here's my problem. If I right click on the, the element that I want to have an action setting, it used to be that any sound I recorded within PowerPoint would show up and I could just simply select it from this list but it no longer does. So the only other option here is way at the bottom, it says other sound. And that will bring up a screen and just say, well, where is this other sound? Typically that would be one you have downloaded or one that you've created yourself. The second limitation here is for sounds to work within action settings, like the ones Microsoft has included, they have to be in the WAV format. They can't be MP3s, they can't be MPEG files or any other type of audio file. They have to be WAV files. So here's the workaround. If in your presentation you'd like sounds to be embedded and as action settings, this is what you must do. You'll need to download a free program called Audacity and it is free for both Windows and Mac as well as other platforms. Now here is the Audacity interface and although it has many many features I'm going to keep this very simple. This is probably the easiest way to create WAV files unless you have another way on your own computer to do so like using Microsoft's sound recorder. Here is the record button so I'm simply going to record each of these sounds feel and I'll rewind that let's see feel so there I have my sound the one thing that may be helpful to do within here is to be able to edit or clip off any pauses in your recording that were maybe too long um, and to do that you simply highlight those elements and then within the interface you're going to see some scissors and when I highlight an element here that's not related to my primary sound, I can cut it. And I can do the same here. Cut. So there's my sound. Feel. Okay. Now I'm going to go up to File and Export. And again, there are many options here, but we want the format that is WAV. You can ignore everything else, pick wave, and remember that any media you use has to go into your PowerPoint project folder with your actual PowerPoint file. So I'm going to save that wave file right into that folder with my PowerPoint project. And I'm going to name it so it's easy to differentiate. I'm going to name it, of course, feel. It's going to ask you for some other information that you do not need to fill out. All you have to do is say, OK. And now if I'm to look in my project folder, I can see I have my PowerPoint file and I have my WAV file, feel. So I'm ready to go. So I'll just demonstrate this on one button. I will right click on it and choose Action Settings. And then I want it to play a sound. And it's none of these built-in sounds, so I'll go to the very bottom and choose Other Sound. 
Now I just have to know where it is. And for me, keeping a project file on the desktop is sometimes the easiest place to find it. So I'm going to look on my desktop in my project folder, which I called PowerPoint Project, and there is my WAV file. It's in black. It's not grayed out, which means it will work. If I had any other kind of file, MP3 or some other file, it wouldn't be selectable, which is why it needs to be WAV to link audio this way. So I will click that, and I will say Insert, and say OK. So now in my presentation, I can click on the button and hear the sound. Feel. Rather than have to click on the speaker icon, feel to get the sound. Um, and remember, this can work for anything. It could work for an image. If I wanted my tree to be clickable, it has the same action settings. If I wanted to put something over a piece of my tree to make it clickable, I could do so. so but the limitation is they have to be WAV files, and Audacity is the easiest way to make these. All right, that is the end of this tutorial.